Because, like, when we come from Samoa, right? And you know how we discipline our kids. Like, you know, like, <laughs> don't do that. Like that. You, you, know, just, uh, you, know? hey, you like, automatically, like, like no. hey, don't do that. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Like, you automatically hit it. It's not a big no. hit, but you automatically do And then, do then it. We, those ones, like, you go and to the mall with you. them, right? <laughs> and, they, and they're, like, playing up. Be like, if you look on cover of the like those ones. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so uh, whereas back home, it's like I went the shop, like <laughs> I told you, stop it, okay? Yeah. But so, here so, is a different story, like you know. So in Samoa, it seems to be an outside influence with all this happening, like with the, like the, the woman thing, that's like the Me Too movement changed. Yeah, it is with women around the world. And it's good. It's good. You know what? Because we see a lot of um, women like lead stuff. Ah, yeah. There's a yeah. lot of women um, leader now in in, in Samoa. And, yeah, because there's just a lot of awareness on you know women empowerment. Women empowerment, like to not be quiet, like to speak stand up. up and speak up for yourself, and you know. Yeah, and just like lifting each, uh, lifting you know, each, lifting other, each yeah. other out to try and um, you know get to that. Um, united um cause you know whatever it is that you're fighting for yeah. and stuff like that just to get a say out there because especially in Samoa like I said it has come a, it has come a long way we're still like yeah. I would you know I still got more to go but but like it was always the men make the decisions yeah the ladies sit back and chill out the, yeah, there's I, a lot and... more women matais now mm. there's women fight bullies now you yeah. know like in, in, like you said our women uh, um um prime minister and you know like yeah, that that's already a big deal like mm. you know that that's happened because it, there was always that mentality that the women make the decisions i mean the sorry the men make the decisions yes. and the women follow and you know, and and out of respect, they've done that for years, and they've always respected the men. Like you know, yeah. like this is what happens, and oh, you come in if the men are speaking, yeah, I'll let you fakarikali me fafo and let the men speak. Whereas now the doors are open, you can actually be a part of that komiki, like you know, in the in the komiki, because in Samoa they have like the matais, and then they have the komiki of the 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 women's komiki like you know and it was always it's separated like where the women's komiki go and do like the fundraising for the kewa falisa and da, da 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 like that type of stuff that's you you guys do the kewa falisa and we're we're the men that are going to handle the real business and da da da, da. whereas now there the women are a lot more involved in decision making in someone which you know it which is which is really good like you know we're like and there there's a lot of women like I like Ernie because that was one of the things that we were senior women, positions. Yeah. Like back like a lot of women like get beaten up, like, you know, abused. Um, you know, because they're not the breadwinner for the family and like, you know, their place is um kuka and stuff like that. And now like in Samoa there's a lot of um awareness programs. There's a lot of um assistance where um there's different organizations that are reaching out to the women to try and empower them by, you know, creating um like training and giving them ways where they can be um, income earners as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once they get their jobs, they're able to earn for their families. Then they can make decisions. Like, you know, they're, they're, they're the breadwinner. And then, of course, they have a voice. But, you know, if you're like, you know, not working, just umukuka and stuff, and then that's, you know. So Samoa's, you know, slowly, slowly coming in. There's a lot of women. There's a lot of programs and organizations that are reaching out to women and just women empowerment, honestly. And for so long, and I've, you know, if if I haven't, I've, we've been going to a lot of trainings where we, you know, we hear about women empowerment. And, you know, to be honest, it's like, it's comes, like, it, it's been that, like, men always talk down on women. Like, you know, and sometimes you don't realize it. But now with, you know, with what we've learned, like, we can now see it. Like, if someone, like, if I You say, notice it a lot more. Yes. You, I notice it a lot more because we we go to these courses and they tell us like, you know, you a man <laughs> is actually talking down on you. If they like, if you're saying something and then you're trying to over, like, you know, like speak over me, mm. you know, like, <laughs> like they try and cut you off. And, we're like, or... and then now we're, we've been tall, like, you know, dude, like, excuse me. Like, <laughs> yeah. Let me finish. <laughs> yeah. Let me finish. Like, you know, so mm. it's funny. Like, you know, we, back then we thought it was, you know, the norms for it, but, but, you know, we've been taught, like, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, like... Yeah, but do it in such a way, way where, you know, you're not, like, you know, going to piss people off. <laughs> because then like, they're just... Yeah, a little bit. Of, uh, yeah. You have to be, a, a, like, um, a bit 
political or what are you <laughs> just, like, in a yeah. respectful way, but you know. Mm. But it happens. It happens and we for the longest time thought it was the norms, but it no, nah, it's not. Like, you know. Um they actually say so Cams, you better not speak down on us <laughs> 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 or speak over us. 